So this is the instructional video on how to download and install Python and PIP and get the antenna tracker software working properly. Um, if you already have Anaconda and are planning on using that, you can skip ahead to where we install PyQt4. If not, you'll follow along with the rest of this video. There will be a link for those of you who can skip forward. So, you'll want to open up your instructional links document that should be provided with this, and you'll want to open up the link number one Python download. Just control click it, and it'll open up in whatever your internet browser is. You want to open up link number two Python and pip install instructions as well, because that's what we're going to be following along with to get a lot of this installed. So, you'll go back to the Python page, click on the 2.7.13 file, and you'll go down to the Windows x86-64 MSI installer, and you'll download that. We'll let that download really quick. And then after that's done downloading, we will go ahead and run it. There we go. Install for all users. Shouldn't matter. Let it get through all of this. Okay, so now we need to open up, helps if I spell it right, uh, this link here, the edit the system environment variables. And it'll come up with this window here. And we want to uh, open up the en environment variables down here and we need to set up a new uh, we need to set up a new system variable and that will all be in the second link should be down here this is the one that we are creating. We'll create a new system variable named Python Home. With the va uh, variable value C Python 27. And you can just copy and paste that in if that's easier for you. Hit OK. And now we are going to edit the system variable called path. You may have to scroll down a bit to find it, but it should be here. You'll go in with the edit button and then you'll go over here and you'll take this bit of script here and you'll copy and paste it in to here. But make sure if you copy and paste, you add this semicolon in here. For some reason, the website won't let you actually grab it to copy it. So you'll just go ahead and type that in there, copy that in, hit OK, we'll hit OK and close out of there. And then we want to open up command prompt. So if you go hit start, go to CMD, hit enter, it'll open up the command prompt for you and we will just verify that Python installed. And that's what you should see if it is installed. So from that on, we are going to just type exit, get out of there. And now we are going to install pip. So if we scroll down in this instructional, or in this uh, tutorial here, you'll click on this and you will save link as, 
and you can save that just in the downloads that's fine and now you're going to go over to your command prompt window and you're going to type in to where I mean wherever you saved it so for us it is in downloads so CD downloads you can see that we're in there now and you will go ahead and type Py Python get just get and then hit tab and it should fill out the rest for you or you can just type out get dash pip dot py and you'll hit enter and that will go ahead and install that really quick and then we want to type pip install geomag and then we will do pip install pi serial and then we want to do pip install numpy let that one go and this one takes just a little bit not too long and do pip install matplotlib this one will take some time so don't worry about that in fact while it's doing that we can move on to the next part and start getting some other files downloaded so if you open up link number three the python extension packages it will open up this page here and we just want to do control f for the find if you don't know how to do that you can go into here as well and find will be right here and then we want to search for uh, my sql and hit enter a couple of times until it brings you down to here and then we want to get this link here mysql python 1.2.5 cp27 make sure it's the 64 version and you'll start downloading that and then we will go ahead and hop back to here yep this is done okay and we will go ahead and install it with the uh, pip install and then you'll start typing my sql and you should just be able to hit tab and let it fill that out because that's a lot you can type in might make a mistake go ahead and let that install and then we'll need one more back from this page here so we'll go back and we'll type in pyqt4 hit enter and it if it takes you a couple of times to hit enter it should bring you down to here and we want once again the pyqt4 cp27 that's the important part in 64 bit so we'll go ahead and grab that and after that's done downloading we're going to once again go back to here and we're going to do another pip install and once it's done you can just probably type pyqt4 and hit tab and it should fill it out but i need to wait until it's done downloading to do that so we'll just give it just a couple of seconds here to finish up Okay, looks like it's done. Let me see. It, yep, there it is. And it'll go ahead and grab that. It'll install it. And it looks like it's looks like it's installing it there. And after that's done, we will open up the fourth link, the GitHub link. We'll give this enough time to actually finish up. There we go. Okay, and now we are ready to install the actual tracker software. So we'll open up link number four for GitHub, 
And we'll go over here and we'll full screen this and go up to the search and type in MSU-Borealis. Hit enter and go over to users, MSU Borealis, and you go to Antenna Tracker. Not Antenna Tracker with RFD, just Antenna Tracker. You go in here and hit clone or download and just click this button here and it'll copy it to the clipboard. And then you will go to the desktop, go to new folder, and you'll name it tracker or really, I mean that's what we call it, but you can call it whatever you want. Open that up, right click, do git bash here. And then you'll do the command git clone and then paste that uh, link in there, hit enter. It should start populating this folder here. Sure enough, there it is. And then in here, if you want to test the program before we make the shortcut, you do cd antenna and just hit enter. You'll hit tab, it'll fill the rest of it out. Hit enter. And then here, you'll do python and then start typing antenna and hit enter there. Opens it up. You can go ahead and close out of that. Now we're going to create the shortcut for it. If you go into the actual folder, double click on that, you'll notice the tracker launcher batch file here. So what you'll want to do is you want to edit that. Either click edit, edit will open it up in regular notepad, or if you have notepad++, you can do edit with notepad++. And then you want to click up here, and it will pull up this link, and you'll copy it. So copy, you can bring it in here and you'll just overwrite this line here. So it should say CD and then it'll have this file path except basically this will be different as long as you have the tracker folder or new folder you created on the desktop. So this user will be whatever your user is. If, it do, if you don't change this, it won't run. And then you'll save it, exit out of there and we will go ahead and send to desktop and then close out of there minimize that and we like to change the icon for this to that and we also like to change the name of it to you know whatever we want so we can do tracker launcher double click it and it opens and that is the installation video